Okay, Paul. Congrats on being first. Hope you had a good time at uh, TwitchCon. I am unmuted, right? Yes, I am. Good. You met some amazing people there? That's great! The more that you can uh, uh, expand and network with, that's good. As you can see, I still haven't gotten up my blackout shades uh, put up, so I'm still like super pasty. I really need to do that at some point, but uh, it requires getting into a really awkward spot. Which is fine. But, uh, so the plan for this week is what we're gonna do. We're going to play um, AI Somnium Files uh, today and on Thursday. So, chat will be mature and so will uh, the channel. Um, cursing is still not exactly advised because I'm not changing the moderation settings, but uh, it's going to be less stringent, I guess, is what I'd say. Uh, but the channel is set to mature, so uh, no kids should be able to come onto the channel, I don't believe, without verifying. I think that's how that works. I hope. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to be doing that. How am I feeling? I am feeling apprehensive. Because of the uh, fact... I, I, I actually don't know why I'm apprehensive. What about man children? Because <laughs> you were allowed in just fine. Depends on what type of man children we're talking about. There's a very specific type that, like, I know and my gut lets me know about them, and they are very quickly weeded out. You are not that kind. But, um,. Yeah. I will say that uh, the uh, Wolf uh, 3618, thank you for contributing 300 peanuts to the Spider Gwen cosplay uh, challenge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um. So as I've mentioned before, I'm in classes to look into becoming Catholic for reasons of, like, I want to learn more of the history of the church, and, like, I'm keeping an open mind. I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going in to learn. <laughs> and it's been very interesting. The... Literally, there was one guy who freely admitted to me that he took ivermason uh, to combat COVID. I don't know if he had COVID, but he <laughs> just like so. Uh, yeah, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> Luckily, I did not sit next to that guy. But it was interesting. But what I realized is the most annoying people for me are other ADHD people. Because they distract me immediately. There, there was a guy there who was middle-aged and very obviously undiagnosed. And he could not sit still. He could not shut up. He could not stop doing stuff with his hands. And, like, he was getting up, he was moving around, he was, um, he, 
like he got up and started doing the dishes in the middle of the lecture. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, sit down, shut up, listen to the class. <laughs> how are we, friends? Uh, swing dance. That's how. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm. I was. I'm not talking about work. I'm not talking about work. The, this was a guy at the catechism class. Paul, you're fine. <laughs> but, like... Catechism. Oh, uh, I should probably explain what that means for people who aren't Catholic or uh, Christian. So, catechism is basically kind of like the... Not so much a confirmation class, but it's essentially a conversion class. So, it's the class that you take uh, if you're... Uh, a teenager who is, was raised in the Catholic faith and are going to be confirmed. It is a class you can take as an adult to learn about the Catholic faith and potentially convert to being a Catholic. Um, and the term for that is catechism. I don't remember what that means uh, in like Latin terms. But that is the term that we were given for it. So it is basically a Catholic conversion class. And um, granted, the two two people that I have already mentioned were very they they, they kind of made my eyes open a little bit. I was just like, okay, what am I get, getting myself into? But also, I I recognize that those were the extreme outliers because everyone else behaved themselves, everyone else was asking really good questions, um, and everyone else was behaving. So, yeah. Get what you're meaning. It's not doing anything important. Yeah, but, uh, like, the, the thing was that this guy could not shut up. He had... If it was like he felt like he had to either be the star of the show, he had to be either the class clown. And I'm just like, dude, you're not, you're not number one here. The father is. He's the one who's teaching the class. You need to pipe down. But uh, and like it was really awkward because he was making fun. Mm, I it no it, Nick. Uh, I called it out as well because uh, he said that that that's the extreme hyperactive end of it but um, because like literally he could not stop doing something he he was constantly getting up out of his seat he could not sit still at all but um, oh, what was what was the other thing that happened um he basically said happy birthday to the priest. Uh, congratulations on never having been kissed. I'm like, dude! <laughs> like, what the heck? Leave him alone. But, uh... Like... The... It, 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 it was just... A lot of different things that I'm just like... It did just wow. It, it was a lot of just wow. But other than him, the class went fine. We got a lot of good questions. And, um, from the way he was talking, it sounds like he's going to mi be missing a lot of classes, which I'm kind of hoping. <laughs> but, um, no, it, I, I think that's also him just being socially awkward and not knowing how to make an actually funny joke because there was another time he tried to make a joke and it just fell on its face. He was like, I'm trying to make a joke and it's not going well. I'm like, yeah, dude, calm down. Shut up. Whatever. Moving on. Anyways, my alarm just went off. It is time for the funny game. Um, the funny and really trippy game. 
This game does have flashing lights in it, so if you are a person that has light sensitivity, be warned, this is your out to leave if you have seizures or anything like that. So give me a second and I will get on over to the game. Uh, I am actually combined type, so I have... Oh, jeez. That is really loud. For me. Not... I don't know if it's loud for you. But, um... Basically, for me, it is attention deficit and... Um, hyperactivity. So, like, I can hyper focus on stuff, but, um, yeah. Sometimes I can't sit still, but I've never been that bad. I don't think I've ever been that bad. Also, again, once again, congratulations, Paul, on being first to the stream and in the chat. Alright, time to load up the game. Um, let's see. Did we do a manual save or. <laughs> Tiz, you forgot! Uh, manual or autosave? Uh, this one has the. Correct amount of things. Mizuki, the time limit with insomnium is six minutes. Imagine being Damn able it. to sit still. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. That co appearance <sighs> was like a dream come true. Ugh, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> This guy is nightmare fuel. Yikes. I think we finished all these. Yeah, we finished everything. Jen. Uh, time to go to the Mizetan department store. His voice is really sweet, though. It's... It's off-putting. <laughs> it's like, what, what are you hiding? Are you, what what are you, the Phantom of the Opera or something? Oh, this is, reminds me of the first game. Or not, never mind. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. Uh, it'll adjust in a second. Maybe? There we go. I think. Never. All right, show my my little boy. He's in it. One day school. I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes "Death Tub," and I'm thinking, "Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something?" Then Shoma saw my face and started. Busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized when you see Death Tub in the mirror. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! <laughs> There's literally no one there. <laughs> That Another face. story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, okay. I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. I still have questions about the shape of your head, dude. But it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? 
I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, Vice Principal? Lot of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! <laughs> Hi, Ninjub! <laughs> It's Minecraft Steve's brother, yes. Um, are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. And also not laughing. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quieter, right? We'll go into the back room. That's disgusting. All right. Wait, the Ferris wheel? I mean, it's, it is quiet. Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? That's creepy. This is not what I had in mind. All right. Uh, why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propellers, washing machines. The beds at love hotels. Those spin? There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. Why? How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. All the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do. Taba! A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up. <laughs> he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside too. <laughs> you got a point there. Yeah, you are. You're prob uh, about Shoma. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. So, dead or divorced? Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got divorced. sick of me and left the house. Was it the shape of your head? Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary. <laughs> she took comedian. all the redstone. Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. Um, your clothes. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. Yeah, we haven't seen you in anything else. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that cool. tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a <laughs> liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. Okay. Uh, what? Why did you host the quiz? Well, you know I'm a comedian now. But when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. That kind of sounds odd. Adored wherever I went. Everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. But after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. Gotta be funny first. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. It wasn't.
Actually, door. What else can I look at? Window? Ha ha ha! Look! The ants are like people! You mean the people are like ants? It's the other way around. Wait. The other way around doesn't sound right either. Cityscape. Anything else? Not really. Just Komeji. Alright. Yon Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komeji, is sitting in front of me. Okay. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. Um, by the way, Iris and Mizuki were called Team Lonaskate, and Moma and Shinpei were called Team Yakuza. <laughs> okay. About last I'm night's sorry, incident. I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then, that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. It smells like alcohol. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. That doesn't always help, but oh. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Eyeballies. The Q&A nurture game, Eyeballies. Every 20 minutes, Eyeballies will ask you a question. The more you answer, the more they grow. If an eyeballie becomes an adult, as a result, you'll get many eyeballs as a re reward. Get notifications when a character asks a question. You can get this notification in any scene. Sure. Turn eyeballies question notification on. You can get this notification in any scene. <gasps> oh, that's adorable! Can you answer more questions so that I can become an adulty? What direction do you you like? Uh, it's a Tamagotchi. <laughs> uh, up. I don't really carry. Thinking of the next question. Okay. Interesting. That was unique. Bench. Light. Ferris wheel. Arcade. Can't really look at anyone. Vending machines. Airplanes. And he is officially gone. Stage. Sky cycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's not much left. Audience seat. No, okay. I guess we'll go back to Abyss. Oh, we've got a limo now. Interesting. You're going back to Abyss? Why do we have a limo? 
Dante never had a limo. Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then, why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Well, hello there. Lady. <laughs> Scream like a little girl. Roar like a vicious beast. Oh god, recite the sutras. Alright. What do we want? <laughs> Recite the sutra. Essence of the Sutra of Great Wisdom, which permits us to go further. The Bodhisattva of the True Freedom through the deep practice of the Great Wisdom. O oh, Sariputra, phenomena are no different to emptiness. Emptiness is no different to phenomena. I don't know how phenomena to feel about return this. return to emptiness. Emptiness becomes phenomena. This incomparable mantra tells us. <laughs> yeah, he's on, still going on. on. Together. Tama Sutra. <laughs> to the shore of Satori. Oh my. Shut up! Stop shouting! <laughs> but you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> why do they always look like shrimp? Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? Oh my. I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Um, alright. Organize information. Right half, or what do you think of this car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh, really? Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? Right now I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and the brakes. I send signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh, is he an orphan? Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah. He is an in orphan. In an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. You have a brother? But six years ago, he also. Six years ago again! Um... Oh, right isn't half. that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but... Remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed in some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Could this Vic... No. Maybe? No, because uh, the the uh, victims of the original Cyclops were all women. They were all women, except for um, when uh, Saito started doing stuff. Because I think the only males that got killed were... Uh, Mizuki's father and Ota at one point. Don't tell me you believe that. So, it was mostly all women. No, just for some reason it's stuck in my head. Correct, but none of them was a young man. Uh, organized information. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. Saito had a thing for Lady Eyes, at, or was it so? No, it was uh, one of the. It was the guy who was the uh, gang member. Was that so? I don't remember his name. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. 
The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Yeah, the original head of the Kumakuras. Yeah. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hmm. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. Is this the first time we've seen this one? Trippy. Rip me, burn me. Fourth? Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. I am an adult! They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Where did Bats 490 come from? Same as a QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Hmm. Ryuki, call. you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Shoma? He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's Komeji's? Uh-oh. Shoma's gonna go missing. Time to go to the Endo residence. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? He's not even paying attention to you. What is that on top? TV. Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? What kind of device? Mm, it's trophy. old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Toy robot. Doll. Closet. Dresser. Toolbox. Kotatsu. There's a buzzer! I need to press it. Granary garden. Folding fan. Toy hammer. The heck? Weird it's plush. Add a rooster? Add a rooster? It's a character. Okay. Kitchen. Fridge. Broom. I'ma hit it! Bonk. Answer button for the quiz. Wow. Okay. Shoma! What are you making? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, about Mizuki. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki? She's actually the one who told me about you. About your father. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji. 
Have fun, Ninjube. And his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Yeah, we're getting bubkiss out of Shoma. About the 490 code. Er, first let's work, work. Look at him. He's working on something in silence. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Straight up ignoring. The chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. I'm sorry, what? What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. What? Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. Now I gotta look at everything again. That robot is so cool. Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Do you want to watch TV together? Stand toolbox dresser doll closet. I can x ray what it. Is that? Looks like a robot. It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? That could be it. Hey, Shoma, would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? I'm magic. Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Oh, it's actually kind of cute. You made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. Hmm. Smart kiddo. Compliment... Compliment strongly or compliment like crazy. Hmm... Wow, like crazy. Lee, this is crazy. It's absolutely bonkers. How can you make such a complex robot like this? Are you an alien? Or from the future, maybe? Or some sort of god? And this form, refined yet playful, such an unconventional design. <laughs> it's obvious your sense of style is immaculate. Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. I will never forget this day. <laughs> Shoma's face is like... What the hell did I get into? I thank the creator that I was able to meet a genius that will go down in history! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. Nice. First try. Uh, what are you making? One of the parts for Robota. The robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. Why? What are the headphones for? Put them on so I can concentrate better. To keep out yappy nobodies. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. About Mizuki. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. Ooh, someone's got a crush. Even though she's cute? That Ogo? She's not cute at all. Hey, you leave my girl alone. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I can tell. No need. No need for names. 
But your dad. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Oh, painful subject. Well, because... Who has a square head? Why does it matter? Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The Bats 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. You ruined Minecraft for me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Oh? Guess we're going there. I heard about it last night on the news. Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Eh, this, he still kind of reminds me of a bobblehead, but... Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dubious liquid. Central monitor. Monitor embedded in the pillar. Flask. Test Ryuki, tubes. Would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? No. Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? Also, what if it's blood? That would be awesome. Test tube filled with some sort of liquid. I would rather die than drink it. Binder, organizing documents, notes, research notes, PC monitor, showing a s couple different scans. Robot arm, desk, scientist, using protective garb, door, window. Statue. Excuse me. What is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Okay. Statue. Serious statue. Chair. All right. I think I've got everything except for Chikara. Um. About this institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Hmm. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. I didn't understand that at all. Thank you, Ryuki. Neither did I. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURGE. Those glasses are revolutionary. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using PURGE even immortality is achievable. Let me guess. Bats for 420 or 490 or whatever lures kids in and they're used as test subjects. That's my guess, at least. Immortality? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However... It can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Wow. Indeed. 
the body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. Hmm. As much as I don't want to die, I also don't want to not die. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? I don't want to live forever and watch everyone else die and be left alone. Because way too many books and movies talk about sometimes humans can live too long. And I agree with that. Because people get jaded. Um... Ah, it was mentioned on the news. Not the QR video. Uh, but the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. Did Shoma lie to us? About Jin. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Okay, what were you doing at 6 a.m. on the 9th? Jin's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Like a wife? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. A lot of divorce. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. Hmm. That's right. The developer loves six years. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Chikara? Everything is off about him. He's a bobblehead, and he's got ridiculous glasses, and, uh, what kind of shoes are those? You think so? You really are dense. Also, he's got a, um, Pidgeotto hairstyle. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads! What are those? Mobile games can be fun most of the time, though. They can take you to a page. To try and force you to download a different game, it's kind of like advertising fraud. Okay, yeah, whatever. Thermo. Huh. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Dan, why is it just his face? Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. How's that work? Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brain waves and temporarily look into their dream. Uh, select Chikara with the cursor. Choose wink sink icon to view a simplified version of his dream. <laughs> well, that's anime as heck. <sighs> this guy. Wing Sync is a simplified version of Sinking. But you're still taking a look inside their dreams. And dreams are made from memories. So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. So he's seen the Bats 490. Chikara knows about Bats 490. 
He was lying to us earlier. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. The eyeball me, a strong magnetic wave is shot out to the sink subject. This temporarily numbs the subject's brain and puts their brain into a faux sleep state and induces a dream. By analyzing the fake brain waves emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sync needs to be performed. A weak sync can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. I would need to recharge before per performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. Hey. Very well. I'll go with you. All right, we're gonna probably do a full sync with them then. Abyss HQ. <sighs> hey, boss. Hey, Peter. Any progress? There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Uh, where's Mr. Date? Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. The knuckle game is a game where I guess what? You know what? I'm not going to read the rest of that. That's Chikara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher ups will take care of it for me. I love that. Uh, Shizue Kurunushi. Pewter. Got Chikara. I got Tama's report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which- He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. Very early. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. Calm down, I boss. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. Uh, about the malfunction of the communication uh, system. That's outside of my jurisdiction. So, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure the person in charge is desperately trying to fix it as we speak. It should be fixed soon. Uh, why are you here? Hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year... You were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information, not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I am truly grateful to you, boss. So that's why the scumbag's still here. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. I know about... Mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. This is kind of scary. And gross. Eh, uh, you get used to it. In any case, shall we get started? Ryuki, you know what to do. Time for us to sink. Sink with him. Dun dun dun. Ryuki, 
This isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but... I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's alright, I know. Okay then, let's begin. Let's do it! Yeah, we get to play as Tama now. Uh, excuse me, that's a half of what a person. Is this place? I'm gonna safety save real fast. It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? <laughs> yeah, do it. But, hey, isn't benching kinda hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki! Stop wasting my time! <laughs> we can only be in Somnium for six minutes! Oh... Damn it, damn it, damn it! This is getting out of hand! That's Chikara! Tama, follow him! Oh, wow. On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. The very layout of this facility itself, mimicking my brain, will serve as inspiration for my masterpiece. What's going on here? I need to be careful. I can't get too close. Hmm. Now, this. Bionic Body's Accidental Biology. The Bionic Body Creation Program. Bio what? BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. Ah. Whew, wouldn't want that getting out. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. No, oh, he ran off. Chikara in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. If not more. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Hmm. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? Oh, that's what it says? If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? That's quite the title. Instant death power stance man? <laughs> Thanks for calling him out. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway... Let's check the device first. Looks like the power is out. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Alright, 
so lock one. Lock two. Lock... Lock three, lock four. Uncover the secret Chikara is hiding. There is no doubt Chikara is hiding something. Open the door to expose what he is hiding. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. One key found. Use the blank, join the blank, and create a blank. That being said, it is time for us to take a brief break to uh, stretch, get something to eat, and uh, get a drink. So I'm going to go ahead and... see what do we have so many things to look at uh, let's inspect they investigate ancient ruins in order to uncover what earth looked like in the past <coughs> they not only require a scholar's knowledge but also the decision-making ability to avoid traps placed in ancient ruins just like that one professor. Yeah, the guy with the whip that got chased by that big stone ball. Indiana Jones? Oh, I thought it was metal. Was it? Okay. Those who catch fish in bodies of water, such as oceans or rivers. They are knowledgeable about the ecology of fish and have many skills that aid them in catching their target. They go out to the ocean pretty much every day, have incredible navigating skills and a sturdy body. Sea peoples. You mean the guys from 1200 AD? Sailors? Supposedly they were wiped out by a rival Mediterranean kingdom. Not much is known about them. Huh? confused a warrior of the Maasai tribe a nomadic tribe who predominantly live in Kenya and Tanzania they have great physical ability and are skilled with spears they are capable of fighting wild beasts like lions among Maasai warriors those who jump the highest receive the greatest praise they're famous for their jumping skills if they can beat a lion with spears or their bare hands, they must be really strong. Yeah, no kidding. They go to outer space by using rockets to breach the atmosphere of Earth. They are highly intelligent and athletic, which allows them to move in zero-gravity environments with ease. They are required to have high mental fortitude to live in outer space, much of which is still unknown to us. Further than us all, they've flown. Makes you want to wax poetic, I see. Okay. It's not going to move because it's not activated. In order to activate it... According to the scan, past the door is a stone statue without power. We don't have any other leads, so let's head to that statue. This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, it moves sideways. We're here. That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. Updated keys. Use the machine in the center, join the two stone statues, and create a transcendental superhuman. Huh? Okay. Act 
activate the experimental device. Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Why don't you feel around that area? What area? Oh, jeez. Whatever feels right, Tama. Ryuki! <laughs> oh, God. Why did that actually activate something? The robot arm control PC has no. been activated. Why? <laughs> Alright, mental lock number one, un unlocked. Activate right front temporal lobe statue. It's on! Yep. You're amazing, Tama! Yep, we did. It says, not available, stone statue activated. Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. That butt cheek, though. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? How did you know? Let's go back to the device. <laughs> she avoided the question. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Blank, human your powers. You can blank to blank if you wanted to. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. We don't have the jumping power. A normal jump won't suffice. We need to think of a way to go up. Maybe we can do something with the device in the center. We can go through here. Let's go. Okay. Robot arm control. She's got nails. BBAB activating. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Jikara did. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and a. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. So, one of the, uh, Maasai, Maasai warrior, More for sure. Shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance... What do you choose, Ryuki? Maasai warrior. Please select right brain function. Mm, astronaut. Left, Maasai warrior. Right, astronaut selected. Starting experiment. What's going on? Experiment successful. Just like I expected. Combined, a Maasai warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere-piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. All right. 
Alright, let's go try it. This store isn't locked. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Ready. Wow. Wee. The experiment Horatori has done it again. Genetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? He's supposed to be making like a DNA sequence with his body. Oh. By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. That we can do anything in this simulation world. There are no limits. Well, I guess things worked out. So, every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You wanna join? Hell no! <laughs> I'm right there with you, Tama. A stone statue without power. Activate it. Lude. This stone statue is... a racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split-second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. It's like Chobits, you gotta flip, flip the switch. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Me either. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Super reaction caused... Uh, super reaction by the person trapped by blank, six, no, seven cents. Those who traverse blank experience it. This store is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Let's go find out. Whee! We're here. Looks like we can open it from this side now. Sweet. Current ability is... Left. Maasai Warrior. Things that we don't know about. We pretty sure we've already gone through most everything. Let's go back to the beginning here. experiment. Please select left brain function. The car from earlier. And what to do about the trap? What do you think fits best? Please select right brain Racer. function. An uh, archaeologist? Left. Racer. Oh, right, because of Indiana Jones. Right. Archaeologist selected. Starting experiment. <laughs> experiment successful. Combine Steamy. a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps to gain movie protagonist superhuman <laughs> driving skills. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. Oh well, this is Shikara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, 
that should lead you there directly. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. You won't let me go through. Oh, because I'm going to the wrong one, doy. We can go through here. Let's go. They are capable of making lightning in their profession. One hundredth of a second can make all the difference. They also need high endurance to maintain their heightened senses for an extended amount of time. I can't even imagine being in a 24-hour race. Yeah, they switch drivers out, but even then... They're skilled and mentally tough, too. Super reaction by the person trapped by speed. Six snow, seven cents. They who traverse blank experience it. All right, All right. let's go. Get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. That's not how you sit in a car. What? What? <laughs> That's the trap? I could have done this on my own. Tokyo Drift! Toma, behind you! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna ramp it. Step on it. On what? The gas. The gas. The gas. Okay. <laughs> She's doing a fabulous job. Ugh. The experiment worked! Oh, oh. Happy Chikara! Chikara Horatori has done it again! Oh, the genetic extra! The Corpus Callosum is here represented by a treacherous ancient ruin. A theory that links this complex and bizarre passage is now complete! But this should be theoretically impossible. No! There is no impossible in this world. No, oh, this is not good. Not good indeed. Hora, ew! Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? Ugh. The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. <laughs> Ten eyeballs. Let's turn it on. Got it. Unlock the uh, second mental lock. Gambler's stone statue. This stone statue is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. Now let's head back to the central room. Don't look for it. Blank. You can get a blank. Blank can be blank by any person. Okay. We can go through here. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's me, Chikara. What go the away. Hell? This is not 
good. No good. No good at all. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's test this. Chikara's right brain, free selection. What what's happening? That's a yin yang symbol. The room flew away. That's not fair. The experiment worked! Oh, Gara Horror. This right brain reselection is a function that blows away my past. <laughs> The past I don't want anyone to see. My right brain can be shuffled back into the deck. Goodbye, forbidden memory. What are we gonna do? That's not good. When we drove through the passageway, Chikara said, theoretically impossible and not good. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. If we use the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we can prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. Okay. Yeah, but how will we stop Chikara? There was something hidden in the room we were in earlier. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Uh, we haven't done Fisherman or an A. Please select right brain function. Gambler? Left, N A. Right, Gambler selected. Starting experiment. I don't know. We'll see. Error. It's an error. I guess an A isn't a job. So not applicable. I wonder what it's for. What were we supposed to choose? Probably for well, sure. Well, we want to get back that room that flew away, so... Something that's good at casting and pulling. Yeah, that sounds right. First time for a fail state, Thinking so... Thinking outside uh, the box a little. Makes sense. What skill is good at getting... Yeah, we get it. Get that aim and pull. Oh, okay. We can aim for and pull the room that flew away. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Please select left. Fisherman right. Starting it. Experiment successful. Combined, a tuna fisherman's pulling skill and a gambler's ability to make the right choice to obtain superhuman luck. Luck? Is this gonna do anything? Well, try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. How's it going? I think I got something! That must be it! Reel it in! Welcome back! The experiment worked! Oh, <laughs> Happy Chikara! Chikara Horatori has good! The memory I want to leave behind has already been shuffled! <laughs> Uh, this member is no good either. I thought I deleted it. No. No. If you succeed with the Eternal Youth Experiment, my memory will be discovered. Uh, goodbye. 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 Jikara's memory was replaced with something else. 
but it got replaced with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Chikara said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat Instant Death Power Stance Man over there and get into the room he's guarding. Ugh, that's different. That stone statue is a little different. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. That stone statue has... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh no. What's the problem? Seeing this face... Are you sure about turning it on? <laughs> Poor Tama. We've invested too much already. There's no other way. <laughs> like, it's easy... It's easier to turn them on... Turn it on when uh, there's not a face attached. Fine, okay. Ugh. Activated Chikara's stone statue. Oh, you didn't want to touch the crotch because of Chikara's face, huh? My theory is almost complete. The creator of a man who is who blank is blank. Let's inspect it again. The highest authority on DNA engineering. The greatest and most genius scientist ever of all time. It is said he can control the rules of reality itself and is looked up to as the father of God. Wow. Really? No. Hell no! No one looks up to this guy! Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> the creator of a man who transcends death is blank. These people look for bugs during software development. They are also called QA, or testers. They have the skill to find critical bugs as well as minor mistakes. Some people call them organic machines for how good their review skills are. Beta testers? Aren't they the people who walk into walls over and over to break the game and all that? They do need a hell of a lot of perseverance. I'm an AI and even I respect them. If there was something off, they might be able to find it. Everything about this place is off. Interesting. You don't say. It would be nice to create eternal youth and life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over there. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Mm, no, we don't. Please select right brain function. Oh, um... Debugger? Left, N-A. Right, debugger selected. Starting experiment. So new combinations. So NA just straight up it's doesn't work. I guess that's I wonder. Um Those who catch fish in bodies of water such as oceans or rivers, they are knowledge they go out to the ocean pretty much every day have incredible navigating skills, and a sturdy body. Sea people. You mean the guys supposedly they were wet? Huh? The shaman? Don't look for it, do it. You can get a jackpot. Luck can be harnessed by any person. Okay. What was the shaman? The 
person who's most obsessed with eternally Another function that'll allow us to deal with instant death power st Beginning experiment. Please select left brain. The shaman, you said? They haven't mentioned a shaman, I don't think. Well, yeah, we saw the debugger and charts. I'm not sure what shaman you're talking about. in the right brain prompt. Okay. Well, we've been pretty much everywhere. We've been... We've been up both of those locations. But let's go back up, We can I guess. go through here. Let's go. How did we discover the debugger? Debugger's down in the main area. Oh, here's the shaman. I think. They partake in religious and spiritual activities such as praying for rain or fortune telling. Depending on the region, they may also be holistic medical practitioners. Even in today's world with scientific advances, they still thrive in many areas, acting as an anchor for their people. Tama. Do you believe in fortune telling? That's just statistics. But science doesn't always have the answers. It may not have the answers now, but it will eventually. You don't believe in destiny? That's not something you should ask an AI. Okay. Okay, so this was in the room that we crashed into. I must not have We can go through here. registered it. Let's go. In my head or something. Four minutes now. All right. The person who's most obsessed with eternal youth and life is... Another function that'll allow us to deal with instant death so power stats. So maybe archaeology? Beginning experiment. Please select... No, archaeology was the second one. Maasai warrior can jump. Fisherman can reel in. Racer is good at driving. Please select. Uh, Chikara. Left. Racer. <laughs> right. Chikara selected. Starting experiment. Combined, a racer's accurate sense of time and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge to create a brain that accurately counts 10 seconds. Wow. Let's try, Tama. Don't you dare waste 10 seconds on something that stupid. So maybe not racer. person who's most upset another function that'll allow beginning it fisherman please select with chikara left right starting <laughs> 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 
combined. A fisherman's manliness and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge to create the ability to catch undiscovered fish. Fish? That's no, useless. We don't really need the manliness either. No, okay. The person who is most. Another function that. Beginning ex. Messiah yes, Warrior? Please select. And. Debugger? Left. Right. Start. Experiment. Combined. A Maasai warrior's battle skill and a shamanistic well, we ritual hadn't, we to hadn't bring picked forth shaman yet. a mysterious vibe. Uh. That's not even a superpower. Okay, so not that either. The person who's another f beginning. So. What was it? Messiah Warrior and... Please select... Chikara? Left. Right. Starting... <laughs> Come to create an undying and unaging warrior. Oh. Funny that the machine is on a first-name basis with Chikara. Now we can finally beat up Instant Death Power Stance Man. We got it. All right, let's go. Oh, I wanted to try debugger again. Go, Tama. Oh, epic fight scene. Let's go. She's got some moves. We did it! The experiment worked! Oh, happy, happy, happy. Why should humans die? What a waste it is to perish. The research results are splendid. But now is not the time. Huh. If Chikara gets in our way again, no amount of time <laughs> is enough time. Let's go! That kick though was amazing. Alright, so we're in the new room. The stone statue is Jakar's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. A nine stone statue. Nine. Nine in Roman numerals. What is the significance of nine? Maybe he has nine mistresses. No. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. This stone statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Should we go back to the central device? Let's do it. Nine right. There's nothing else. Hmm. Nine? Nine in Roman numerals, yes. But what does right refer to? Right side of the brain. If there's a right, do you think there's a left? So... Is this really a nine? Maybe ninth in the batting order. Or nine the right field. The ninth tarot card is the hermit. They hold a lamp in their right hand. I don't think we're on the well. right track. I'm still lost, so don't explain it yet. <sighs> yeah. We can go through here. Let's go. Did you decide what two brain functions you will combine? Yeah. This should do it. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Please select right brain function. Left, Maasai warrior. Right, nine selected. Starting experiment. This again? Error. An error? What a 
is nine. Something has to pair up with this nine. All right, so that was Messiah Warrior. Beginning. Combining with. Racer. Please select. Left, right, starting. Error. Not racer. An error. What is nine? Something has to. Beginning it's combining with a nut. Fisherman? Please select right. Left, right, starting. Uh, error. It's an A, isn't it? An error. What is nine? Something has to pair. Because they're both unknowns. Beginning experiment. Please. Combining with a. Okay. Please select. Left and right. Starting experiment. Uh. <laughs> what? Why? The heck? successful nice at loss nice at loss na and nine <laughs> what Five hundred eyeballs gained. Achievement unlocked. Egoism. I thought Nice at Laws was just a made up thing that Iris came up with. Ryuki chapter one. Two out of eleven ought to know. Nye's Japan branch. Welcome. Tokiko. I'm the president of the Japanese Nice at Laws branch. Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamaru, my secretary, has already informed me. And of course, there's uh, So's um, <laughs> bodyguards. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. This is the president's office on the top of the building containing the Japanese branch of Nizet Laws, commonly known as Nyes. When I synced with Chikara earlier, Tama and I saw something in his somnium. Someone who looked like they were in Nyes making the Bats 490 video. And that's why we ended up here. We came to the president's office to talk to the top level of Nyes. I need to go talk to Iris, like, right now. Uh, how did you end up here? I had a very hard time finding the place. After all, Nyes is a secret organization hidden from the public. That's a good thing Boss just happened to know someone who knew this location. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. Even after I got inside the building, it wasn't easy. The guards, the security gates... If I hadn't met Mamoru at the entrance, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this office. I know about Abyss, and I know it's trustworthy. Mamaru. That's why I let you through to talk to the president. Say something funny. Something funny. There, I said it. <laughs> the little grin. Your badge. That's something phony. What is this? A vaudeville routine? 
That wasn't funny at all. It's a little bit funny. You're Tokiko's uh, secretary? Yeah, but I'm also her bodyguard. I used to be a bodyguard for a certain politician until the end of last year. He was a piece of human garbage. I slugged him in the face and resigned. Then ended up here thanks to an acquaintance. Too much so? It is the same guy. I was only hired recently. I don't know much about it, really. You're not paid to know. Um. Anyway, nice. I was surprised. I had heard of Nyes, the secret organization, but I thought it was just an urban legend. I can't believe it actually exists. Yes, there has been all sorts of gossip about us. Some claim we're a secret society of Satanists, or that we have something to do with a sequence of binary code that came from space. But that's all nonsense. Made up stories that become more and more embellished as they were passed on. Rumors are quite a terrifying thing. Nyes is a perfectly legitimate ideological society. Cool building you got here. Our headquarters are located in New York, with many branches in cities throughout the world. This is one such branch. One question, can I go get my friend? She would be out of her mind to see this place. This is a common misconception, but Nyes is not a religious organization. We are a group of like-minded individuals who act together based on a certain understanding of the universe. And that is? The simulation theory. Have you heard of it? That the world is an artificial simulation of reality created by someone or something. That's the theory. You're saying everything in this world we're living in isn't real? Yes. It's a false world constructed with specific rules by a program. They're breaking the fourth wall here. And if it is made by a program, there must by necessity be imperfections, edges, or seams. Bugs. To find these seams, or to create them, is our objective. Why would you do that? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and the whole will be created. Thusly, we will tear at the seams of the program until it is unraveled, and its people are emancipated. That is our ultimate goal. This old hag has completely lost it. Interesting concept, though. How will you tear the seams of the world? The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. I Those don't are understand. sewing terms. You will someday. So warp and weft, I believe, is the way that uh, fabric threads are woven. So uh, basically when you have, for an example, a piece of cotton um, and you have like a ripple in it, if there's, if you've cut, you can pull certain threads. There's actually a sewing technique called pulling a thread and drawing a line. So you can pull one single thread of the fabric out and it creates a line across the fabric, which makes it easier to cut um, straight down the um, fabric so that you don't accidentally deviate and you stay in that direct line. But basically a warp is when the threads are kind of jumbled and not perfectly aligned so and you see it most often with like cotton fabrics or cotton fabrics satin fabrics basically it's when those strings are pulled either a little too tight or they're a little too loose and it causes a distortion in the fabric so I think that's what they're talking about I could also just be talking out my ass I'm not sure but I th I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about there. It is a prophecy. It will be fulfilled eventually. Uh, weft is... Weft is uh, related to that. It's basically... Uh, warp and weft is... Um, basically... I, th I think it's one's horizontal, one's uh, vertical. I could be wrong. I 
don't know, but those terms are familiar. And I can't exactly put my finger on it right now. So I'll get back to that. I'll, I'll research it. What is that? A really stupid hand gesture, that's what it is. It's a hand sign you use. It's meant to resemble the sign behind me. Okay. Can you show me that again? Weird. What were you doing around 6 on the 9th? Judging by the way you asked that, I assume that's Jin's estimated time of death? Well, yes. I was in Okinawa from the night of the 8th. I had a seminar to attend on the 9th and 10th. I returned to Tokyo late last night. I checked the logs for hotels and airports, for smartphone access points, and the security footage for each location. It's true that Tokiko was in Okinawa from the 8th to the 10th. So she has an alibi. As long as you presume Jin's body wasn't brought back with her from Okinawa. Uh, about bats 490. Considering the fact that you are here, I assume it would be pointless to hide it. Indeed. I had my subordinates create that video. Oh! Bats 490 was an ARG. Just a game. But there was a high-level encryption hiding a message within. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode. It's a recruiting video. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. And that's why they always disappeared. So this QR video was made for the same reason? I am aware of that video. I saw it on the news. However, it's completely unrelated to Nyes. I assume someone made it with the intent to imitate Bats 490. What do you think, Tama? Hmm... Hard to say on that alone. I have discovered the secret of the world. That makes sense. Do you mean the man from Horadori Institute of Genetics? So you do know him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from him. Shikara is under arrest? No, he was just released earlier. We didn't have enough evidence to keep him detained. I see. about your relationship with him? Shikara is a former member of Nye's. Former member? Though this was over 20 years ago. When he left us, he became an avid believer in the Order of Percent. The Order of Percent? Order of Percent? It's an organization that split off from Nye's. Oh, yeah, the... would say they are a sect. The fanatical sect. As all secret organizations have, they have the fanatics that split off from the main branch. So, let me guess, that organization is the one that created that video. The Order of Percent is a religious sect, whereas we are an ideological society. Despite our common roots, we are heading in completely different directions. Then how did Chikara know that Nyes created Bats 490? I wouldn't know about that. Perhaps he asked an acquaintance from Nyes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's wink sink. What is going on here? That was... Maybe she's not thinking about anything at all. Her mind is completely blank? Some impressive mental Maybe training. Maybe she reached a state of selflessness. And now I can't do it to him. Dang it. Last all. Office desk. Symbol. That's the Nanyapol X. Nanyapol X? Nine. What the heck is a Nanyapol? Nanyapol means consisting of oh. nine. Okay. You know how they're single, double, triple? Nanyapol is the ninth. I think you just made that up. So Nanyapol X means nine X's? Same so. Did you know that Nyes at Laws is derived from nine X at Lozenge? Lozenge referring to a diamond shape. I thought a lozenge was something that you suck to uh, make your throat feel better. In other words, Nyes at Laws means the nine like a cherry X's lozenge. of the diamond. Like a, By the way, like a cough drop. Would you mind if I asked you a question? What is it? Are you perhaps a freyer? What's... Freyer? Frey. 
pray. I thought I heard that somewhere some I am before. asking the person within you. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a frayer? Frayer. Uh, yes? <laughs> no? Uh... Hey, you Yuki. As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I correct? This world is fictional? Ryuki, what's gotten into you? <laughs> I think she's talking to me. Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. Nil number? Uh, would it be pie? Oh, like zero escape time dilemma. Oh, gosh. No, I don't know. I don't think it is, actually. So, you don't know. In other words, you lied. No good. She saw right through it. I thought that I could get her to keep talking if I fake my way through it. Yeah, maybe we'll access this at a different time. Way to go. What is a nil number? What is a frayer? Frey. Right! I remember now. It was written on that sign. Frey to free. Right. Frey can mean fight, but it can also mean to wear out or tear. Remember what Tokiko said. Their ultimate goal is to break down this world and emancipate its people. Miss Shigure, are you sure Nyes didn't make the QR video? We did not. But the word Frey was written on that sign in the QR code. We of Nyes are only involved in Bats 490, which we created half a year ago. We are not the ones who created the QR video. The word Frey being displayed on that sign must be a coincidence. That can't be just a coincidence! Oh, but it can. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. We call such glitches, scenes. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. The appearance of Jin's corpse is also likely to be an example of such phenomenon. What? Are you familiar with the Philadelphia Experiment? It sounds like pseudoscience. It's a top secret military experiment that's said to have taken place in the American city of Philadelphia on October 28th, 1943. A powerful electromagnetic wave was fired towards the USS Eldridge, a destroyer class warship. Supposedly, the reason for doing this was to conceal the ship from showing up on radar. But as soon as the experiment began, something strange happened. The Eldridge was enshrouded in a greenish mist. Then, vanished. Afterward, it appeared at a military port in Norfolk, nearly 200 miles away from the shipyard in Philadelphia. Hmm. Sometime later, it reappeared in its original position again. So you're saying it teleported? Well, it's nothing but an urban legend. Just an occult story with low credibility. Hmm. Relates Tama's story directly to Tokyo. Yes, exactly. However, the story doesn't end there. When the USS Eldridge returned to Philadelphia, there were several sailors on board, but some of them had melted like a rotten banana, while others ended up with their bodies entirely burned and blackened. Others were said to have merged with the steel hull, 
their bodies having become a piece of the ship. Gross. Does that sound familiar? You mean Jin? Are you saying his right half teleported here? It isn't impossible. If a seam was torn, that is. Impossible. Hmm. Yuyagi Park. February 11th, Monday, 2205. You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's like I can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Oh, then why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. My eyes? Just do it! Okay. Why do you have a riding crop? I mean, yeah, we know that, but... <laughs> what the? Did we teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio Devita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Wow. It's like I'm actually there. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uncensored is fine. Now, less digressing and more investigating. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. <clears throat> All right, let's start looking around. Virtual reality activation. VR allows you to walk around the scene and gather information. Tama's special modes, such as X-ray mode, can be applied to everything. By changing the special mode, what you inspect will change. Utilize this to find the hidden information. Very interesting. However, this is something that we'll have to investigate on Thursday, because it is time for stream to be over. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And go to the top menu. Yep. Well, it's cool, but we sure don't have time. Alright. So that was really quite interesting. Um, let's see. The... The code is very interesting to me because it was a six-digit code, so I guess we need to be on the lookout for a six-digit code for the next however long. And, and or I need to go and revisit some Zero Escape Time Dilemma stuff. We're honestly playing the games kind of out of order. Even though it might be something that we go back and put it in later. We do have a flow chart. But here's the thing. Um, the same studio is uh, the one that created uh, 999 uh, zero, time, uh, zero Time or sorry Virtue's Last Reward and Zero Time is Dilemma. Zero Escape Time Dilemma. But those three kind of ended their arc. 
because they are self-contained in those three games which don't really have anything to do with AI Somnium Files or AI Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. So my only thought is maybe there's a code from the original game that we uh, it, it's either one of two things. Either that code was something that we had from the first game or we find it out later. I just don't know. Um, I can't remember, Tiz. Uh, are you familiar with the events of uh, the those three games that I was just talking about? ZTD and 999 and all that? Like, how much do you know of that storyline? Okay. Yeah, if we find it out later and go back and put it back in, it means we can mess with time. I mean, if you remember, we did have different, um, like, flow chart. We had a flow chart for the um, AI Somnium files. So we were able to go into the different branching lines and do the different... Um, routes. And it seems like we have that same thing here. We already have branched at least once. Um, and I think it was in the very first Somnium. So, I don't know. And yes, we are going to go back and try and do every single um, branch at some point. But, uh, we will go ahead and tackle that again on Thursday for our hour on Thursday. Um, now, yeah, right, how else are we going to get the true ending? The So I, I googled it briefly. I didn't look at it very closely because I, it looked very spoilery. Um, but it said something about a secret ending. So, something with the nil number has to do with some kind of secret ending. So I guess it could be the true ending? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just some secret bogus ending? Who knows? I have been pretty good at keeping myself blind to everything regarding this game so that I can play it absolutely blind and learn it as we go. Um, but... Yeah. It's honestly been a bit of a struggle because my, uh, the, the guy who introduced me to AI Somnium Files to begin with, um, super great friend, he started playing it the moment it came out, kind of like how I was going to, but didn't end up doing it. So he's very far ahead. Uh, as opposed to where we are at, he's already done, I don't know, five or six sessions or more of like two hour segments of it. So he is light years ahead of me. And I'm scared to watch his Let's Play because I don't want to like spoil anything for myself. I do want to watch it at some point because uh, he's he, he was really good at playing the first game. But anyways, that's, bes that's besides the point. Um, I was saying that we were going to do... Yeah, we're, we're going to play this again on Thursday. And then on Saturday, there's not going to be any stream because of the fact that uh, I am going to be going and uh, kayaking with some friends. So uh, after Thursday, we will resume on Tuesday, probably with a more... Um, e for everyone kind of game once I figure out what that is um, your friends and uh, there's a couple others but I was thinking about doing um, either phasmophobia or uh, phasmophobia or forewarned which I, I really want to try forewarned Especially with a heart rate monitor, because I think there's going to be a lot of shrieking. 
uh, kayaking is safe for me for now. Um, and I'm also not the only pregnant lady who's going to be there. Po quite potentially. Um, but anyways, that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed watching me play this silly game. This silly, horny game. And uh, when you get to it, my lovelies, sleep well and have a great rest of your night. And stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Good night, my lovelies.